Russian diplomats on Friday had a press briefing, the latest in a series of reports to update Lao reporters on developments in Ukraine, where Russia is engaged in what it calls a special military operation. The diplomats included the third secretary at the Embassy of the Russian Federation to Laos, Mr. Daniel A. Verdupinov. They explained that Russia is continuing to provide humanitarian assistance to people affected by the conflict. Russia's Ministry of Defense has opened humanitarian corridors to enable the evacuation of people in the east and west of Ukraine. As many as 1.6 million people, including almost 263,000 children, have fled to Russia since the conflict began in February. Ukrainian diplomats whose embassy is based in Bangkok, Thailand, have also given several press briefings by video link to update reporters on the crisis from their perspective, which offers a different version of events. These briefings have been arranged in collaboration with the European Union and the embassies of the United States, Australia, the United Kingdom and Germany in Vientiane. The Russian diplomats said the special military operation in Ukraine could last for some time. Regarding the possibility of negotiation between Russian President Volodymyr Putin and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, the diplomat said that a legally binding document would need to be prepared ahead of talks, but this process has been halted. The diplomats described how the crisis had disrupted global supply chains, especially with respect to gas, petrol, and food, of which both Russia and Ukraine are global suppliers. This disruption has caused prices to skyrocket, especially of fuel, since sanctions were imposed by the West on Russia over the special military operation. Laos has joined many peace-loving nations in calling for all parties concerned to resolve the issue through peaceful means. The Lao PDR calls on all parties concerned to exercise the utmost restraint and pursue efforts in de-escalating the tensions that may undermine international peace and security. The spokesperson of the Lao Ministry of Foreign Affairs said in a press statement on February 26.